Last week on the show, last week on the show, Alex, Josh, and I challenged each other to save the planet by altering our diet. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, Tracy. We went, we decided. Alex and I went vegetarian. Uh, Josh went vegan, and the plan was to see how long we could last. Alex, oh. you, I mean, you're the role model. You're the influential one. Uh, yeah. Uh, how, how did you? Ooh. Go? <laughs> um, yeah, I did really well for about like 12 hours. <laughs> And I was asleep for like eight of them. <laughs> um, I'll be honest with you, mate, I completely forgot about it. And the next day, I was driving back up north, I stopped in the services and had a chicken burger. And I could have, put on, I could have told you straight away, I could have t admitted it, but I just thought, nah, because I want Hills to do it for a little bit longer and struggle <laughs> without me. I actually found it quite easy, to be honest. I still haven't you eaten... You did not! What? This right, I knew you'd say that, so I've printed out our WhatsApp chat. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, go right, on. So this was the first. This was uh, midnight, Saturday night. Yeah. This was uh, 24 hours after the show. Yeah. This is. You sent us a picture of yourself eating your first vegetarian dinner. <laughs> so sad. That so it's the most. But also, it's a pizza, mate. Just enjoy a pizza. It was a veggie pizza. I've never had one before, and I hated every <laughs> second of it. <laughs> also, yeah. mate, you're 48. Eat the crusts. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You? What, who are you? The child from Big? What's going on? <laughs> right. Then the next morning, Monday morning. Yep. 10:44 a.m. Has any? Has Alex eaten meat yet? Question mark. Anyone? Question mark. I love not replying to that. <laughs> <laughs> of Adam staring at a bacon sandwich as he sent that. I said it's been three days, mate. You sound like you're having a breakdown. You replied, I'm lying in bed shaking, watching a baby lamb walk across the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Next morning, Tuesday. This is all you sent. Am I allowed to eat fish? <laughs> <laughs> Third stage of grief, bargaining. <laughs> I'm starting to think you love meat so much that you actually ate your own foot when you were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to get on to some darker material now. Uh, Does the Saudi government deny ooh. having anything to do with the disappearance of a journalist in Istanbul this week? Tomo asks, is it OK that the Saudis now seem to be copying the Russians? Last week, a Saudi journalist named Jamal Khashoggi, who's a columnist for the Washington Post, walked into the Saudi consulate in Istanbul to pick up some divorce papers. He's not been seen since. Over the last few days, there have been reports of 15 people leaving Saudi Arabia on a private jet, one of whom was a forensics and post-mortem expert. They arrived at the consulate before Khashoggi, then they left in suspicious-looking black vans and flew straight back to Riyadh. Turkish authorities say they have audio recordings, uh, recordings of him being tortured and killed and that one of the rooms in the consulate has been thoroughly cleaned and freshly painted. Now, much like the Salisbury poisoning earlier this year, it's hard to know whether this is a botched cover-up or a blatant message to the world to not be critical of the Saudi regime. Either way, I'd hate to be the TV show that drove a truck around London this year with slogans mocking the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I mean, luckily... Yeah, that, we, we did that. We did that. Whoa. I mean, luckily, if they do get upset, they're going to take it out on the most influential person on the show. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that already looked like they've caught me stealing. All of this has made life difficult for Saudi allies, particularly <laughs> Donald Trump, who has cozied up to them for most uh. of this year. In fact, earlier this year, the Saudi government promised to pay the US administration $100 million for their efforts taking on ISIS. That payment coincidentally went through this week, on the same day that Trump decided to defend the Saudis. How, I how hard is he to impersonate? Because he's almost beyond... I don't, I don't, Alec Baldwin does it. And I, but we're just, I like the Saudis. They buy my condos. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple. It's, it's always yeah. money over morality. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's the exactly the problem. We all do business with the Saudis. America sells them arms, Britain sells them arms, we buy their oil, they literally have us over a barrel. Overnight, Trump said of the killing, and this was, this was the giveaway, I think, he said overnight, this one has caught the imagination of the world, unfortunately. It's the unfortunate, like, if it hadn't caught everyone's imagination, he would have been fine with it. What he's basically saying is, and they would have got away with it too if it wasn't for those pesky kids, 